I think we have quite a good ash. We have seven posters from the group. Uh, so it gives an opportunity for all our young investigators to present their data. And uh, there are some of them that perhaps sticks out a little bit more. And first of all, I would like to mention the real world data. We have an ibrutinib. We have went through the 100 first treated uh, patients in Sweden with ibrutinib outside clinical trials. As you know, it's often a discrepancy between data in clinical trials and data that comes later in reality. Sicker patients, less efficacy, etc. And here we present the first data on ibrutinib in this situation. And surprisingly, actually, the overall efficacy is very much in line with the clinical trials that preceded this analysis. We have PFS data that is also seems to be quite much in line with the clinical trials. Despite that our patients actually were older, they, had, they were more sick from CLL, and they also had uh, more, uh, yeah, in the, generally in the worst clinical situation. So despite that, we have efficacy that was very much in line with the trials. Also, we didn't see more toxicity than in the trials either, so it was quite good results. That should be very important, I think, for everyone to know that reality works just as good or similar, very similar to the clinical trials. Another poster deals with other real-world data historically, uh, where we have went through the regional data. We have a very good system where, because we have complete follow-up of all the patients, so we really could do a careful analysis on the true effects of various therapies uh, without the influence of external referrals and have following an all our patients from the beginning to the end. So we could show, for instance, that CLL therapy did not improve very much from 2002 to 2013. We thought with agents we got during that time period that, the drug, that we would improve the clinical results, but we were quite surprised to see that was actually not the case. Overall survival, as measured from second-line therapy, did not improve. PFS was also about the same and then the response rate was about the same. So that really highlights how much we need the next generation of agents for CLL, like the small molecules and new antibodies. The third poster I would like to mention is about ROR1. ROR1 is a tyrosine kinase uh, that is expressed, for instance, by CLL, but also by many other tumors, also solid tumors, in fact. And we have spent a lot of efforts to produce uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors against ROR1. And in, in the poster we show that we have now quite a late version of a clinically promising tyrosine kinase inhibitor against ROR1. It's quite effective in vitro and we have mouse data that also are promising in terms of efficacy and without unexpected toxicity. So we hope that this a uh, drug candidate will be good enough to bring to a clinical phase one clinical trial later on. So.